Hello, I'm Norm from Tested. I'm Will from Tested. We just got our new iPhone 4s. IPhone They're 4s. shiny. It is very so shiny. So the first thing we want to do is a FaceTime test, but you've seen FaceTime tests before. Steve did it on stage. It's real yeah. boring now. Let's. Well, let's what are we going to do to make this different? different. Yeah. That's so the Steve Jobs said at uh, at the WWDC keynote. FaceTime is Wi-Fi only because cellular networks cannot handle it. I think what he meant was AT&T's network. AT&T can't handle it. Can't handle it. Uh, we're going to try to disprove that. So we're going to try to do FaceTime over EVDO 3G, over a cellular network. With Verizon. How is that possible? With a MiFi. Yes. MiFi is a Wi-Fi hotspot. It connects to this is so, you're, so what you're saying is the iPhone is going to see this as a Wi-Fi network. It's not going to know that it shouldn't be doing FaceTime That's right. over it. We're gonna we're gonna do an end around around the anti-cellular data FaceTime. Yep. Uh, so so Will, you're gonna get on the Wi-Fi for the building. I'm on the line. office Wi-Fi. You can see that uh, right here. It's called We Mosby Lab. So now you guys know exactly where we are too. If you look us up. Right now I'm on the Novotel Mi-Fi. So you are not on the Novotel. Oh yeah, so you are. Novotel sorry. Mi-Fi. And we'll do a quick speed test. There's a speed test app um, from speedtest.net. We're both gonna run it. And this is gonna bring into sharp relief how terrible our office broadband is. Look at that. I am under uh, one megabit. I'm at, I'm at basically 1997 ISDN speeds. Oh, yeah, this is pretty poor. I have 450 kilobits for download, and my upload's hovering around 200. You know, the sad thing is that's still twice as good as what I'm getting. So, you know, potentially not so bad. Let's do a FaceTime test. You're okay, gonna I'm going to go to the other room. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a call, and we'll check it out. Why don't I give you a call so you don't put my phone number up on the internet? Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm getting a call from Will Smith. I'm going to answer this call. Hello, Will, are you there? I, I am. I, I turned Ooh. FaceTime on. He turned FaceTime on. I'm getting a, a request. I'm going to accept. Connecting. And here's the moment of truth. Moment of truth. Pose. Pose for FaceTime. And there it goes. I'm kind of chuggy. The resolution's a little low. It, it's working, though. Can you hear me? I can, uh, I can see Chloe. She's in the other room, but we're using FaceTime to communicate. That is amazing. So there you have it. I'm still in the MiFi. I'm going to end this call, Will. Looks like the frame rate a little chuggy, uh, bit rate a little low. But as you can see, with the Wi-Fi, I am still on the Novotel MiFi right here. There it goes. Proof. FaceTime works over cellular networks. It might not be the best. Um, 3G is actually faster than Verizon EVDO. I think I was getting under a, a megabit connection here, but if I switch to 3G, the speed test will show. I think we're getting three. You get megabits. better better speed on 3G yeah. in our office. So there, well there's no reason why this couldn't have been enabled. Well, I mean, the real reason is network congestion, congestion. right? Congestion. Already, so. AT&T is having problems keeping everything going. No doubt in my mind that the reason that's not available on 3G right now is either because AT&T wants to charge us to use that feature that's over right. 3G, or they know that their network is already crippled under the load of just normal Pandora streaming, and they know yeah. if people start doing that, the whole world's going to fall One million apart. people on FaceTime exactly. on 3G is going to bring Bad things are going to happen. Yeah. But there you have it. I'm Norm from Tested. I'm Will. See ya. Bye.